Yesterday I gave you superpowers, today I show you how to hack mid journey. Hello my friends, how are you doing? This trick is coming to you from Robomar, follow him on Instagram. So on mid journey, usually you can't change your prompt after you have posted it for the variations to add things to change the ratio to change the render method. But here is how you actually can do that on mid journey type slash on your keyboard and pref and then select prefer option set. This is a little bit different on PC and on your smartphone. On the smartphone, you now see two buttons for option and for value. On PC, you don't see these buttons. So you write first the name of the variable. Don't write anything that Midjourney is already using. So let's go here with Oli2. And then on the PC, to make this happen for the value, I want you to use the arrow keys on your keyboard. So Press right for the arrow key, then press up to select value and hit the enter button. So now you have a value field in here. Let's write, for example, minus minus AR two by three. Now you can see that this has been set as the option for this variable. How do we use that? Right slash select imagine like you usually would write a prompt and then write anything. For example, cat minus minus Ollie two. You can now see in the end result, even though I haven't specified in my prompt a different ratio, this is still using the two by three ratio I have defined in my Oli2 variable. Now the benefit here is I can now change this again. And every time this is used in the prompt, even when I click here on variation, it will use the updated changed values. So that means I can go in here again, select prefer option set, use the same variable name, set the value and now change it to something else. For example, when I write minus minus test P and then write minus minus AR two by three and set this as the new value, you can see now when I choose the image three to create a variation of that, this is rendering directly in the test P model, not in the version three model that the original image was rendered in. Here's a different example where I rendered images of aliens in version three. You can see that here I'm using the variable minus minus Olivio. When I created the variation of this image, I used test P and you can see that we get a much nicer render from this directly in the test P engine. Here is the upscale with the version three. You can see how big the difference is. Another thing you can do is change the content of the prompt. This works better with short prompts. Here I have beautiful woman and I have a ratio of three by four set by my minus minus Olivio variable. So here we have the images in version three. I selected this image, but I wanted to have roses in the hair. So I changed my Olivio variable to set it to with roses in her hair minus minus AR three by four. And you can see that this is the outcome where the image has the similar composition, but now we have roses in the hairs. It's important to point out that this does not work a hundred percent. So for example, I tried to change a forest scene from day to night and I couldn't really do it. Also, again, you can use this to change your variable, in this case, Olivio, to include test creative. So when we click here on the variation, this will use the test creative model for that. But again, it is really important when you make these changes, you include in this variable, you create the original text too. in this case, with roses in her hair, minus minus test, minus minus creative, minus minus AR two by three. Because if you don't do that, these roses might not turn out as roses, but just as red splotches. And if you don't include the ratio, it will go back to the one by one ratio. Here are two more things that are really important. This does not really work with upscale. And also, obviously, if you write a prompt that says cat minus minus AR two by three minus minus Olivio as this variable, and in the variable you write with a hat minus minus test, 
This will result, of course, in the prompt cat minus minus ar2 by 3 with a hat minus minus test. And this is not going to work because these prompt arguments that start with minus minus always have to be at the end of the prompt. And you can see here that we are injecting some text after the prompt command. So this is not going to work. Which means if you want to have the ratio and the test method in here, you need to write the original prompt like this and then put the ratio in here so that the resulting prompt will look like this. Have a lot of fun hacking your mid-journey prompts and see you on Sunday in my live stream. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah, I wish you a good weekend.